Hi dears, welcome to my channel, Home Concepts. Please like and subscribe my channel. Today I introduce different types of Christian prayer room designs. Here are some altar designs that will help you decide how to design yours altar. Prayer is a conversation between you and God. The altar area is the important spiritual area of your home. Home altars have been a salient feature of Catholic homes for a long time. Variously referred to as family altars, prayer tables or altar tables, these Catholic home altars serve as a central space for prayers and worship. Create your dream home prayer room with latest more stylish amazing modern cute collections. Easy steps for setting up a home altar. Highlighting the space with arches and wallpapers, choose a bright pattern for the wallpaper. When you are planning Catholic home altars in your flat or home, do not forget to create a focal point. Adding wall shelves as a form of storage. When you have one wall to spare for your home altar, it is best to stick to wall mounted shelves. This way, you can leave the floor empty and still have a dedicated space for praying. A single recessed light can be fixed on top of the altar to create a warm focus. Creating a serene home altar for modern homes Building an altar within a wall niche Use metallics and curves to define altar's design. Here is a list of simple things to include in your home altar. Holy water font or holy water bottle. Catholic icon or other Catholic art, statue or image of Our Lady, your favorite saint in statue or image. Your favorite rosary, Catholic Bible, and prayer cards and or prayer book. Where should you place an altar in your home? If you are not sure about the placement of your Catholic home altar, then it is advisable to have it in your living room facing the main door or the entrance. Since the deity protects the house, this placement ensures that he is always looking after you. Sometimes home altars are also referred to as family altars, prayer tables or altar tables. A home altar or family altar is a shrine kept in the home of a Christian family used for Christian prayer and family worship. Home altars often contain a cross or crucifix, a copy of the Bible, a breviary and or other prayer book, a daily devotional, icons of Jesus Christ and prayer beads, among other religious articles specific to the individual's Christian denomination. The importance of the prayer room cannot be avoided. It is part of our culture. The space of the area is allotted for prayer room is not sufficient. We can arrange the prayer area any part of the dining area or living space. The prayer hall can be created in the corner of the dining area. Wooden panels or shelves can construct it in any part of the hall. The color textures used in the prayer hall is light shades the lamp shades can give effective result in the prayer room. The idols are placed the prayer must be advisable to the overall pattern of the prayer area. The symbols and photos used the prayer hall should be minimal numbers. If the prayer area is set up in any corner of the dining area should be kept as separate. A good prayer can be created in any type of the house. When it comes to any prayer room, you want it to be inviting, you want it to emanate the right type of atmosphere to get you ready for your time with God. Now, when you're creating a home altar, it seems to me that you have two choices. You can either create your home altar in a prominent, centrally located place in your home where the family always passes by. This can be an encouragement to pray while you're going in and out of the house, right in the mix of the hustle and bustle. Or, you can set up your home altar in a more secluded and quiet place in the home where it truly can be a place to pray in silence. Indeed, prayer is a conversation between you and God, as some may say. 
It has been witnessed that miracles happen when people come together in His name, seeking something in one voice. This explains why family prayers have a great importance in a Christian homes, and so are their elaborate prayer spaces. In big houses it is possible to have separate rooms for prayer, where the family can gather and pray without any distraction. However, with a little effort and creativity you can build amazing prayer units, which could even better serve than an individual room. While some like to dedicate a room for prayer, others keep it open to accommodate more people. The color the prayer room can be vibrant colors or neutral tones that creates a more peaceful atmosphere. Plush carpeting, thick rugs, or cushioned mats can be used on the floors to make the space more comfortable. Do not overcrowd a prayer room with so many pieces of furniture, use enough seating to accommodate the people. A cabinet or some drawers is needed to store Bible and other items. You can decorate the prayer room by hanging various framed pictures, rosary on the walls. Keep certain flower vases, censer and other prayer items as well to enhance the prayer experience in your room. Having a special corner at home to pray and meditate is a great way to feel closer to your faith and be able to exercise it every day at a more dedicated time. In the calmest and quietest corner of the house, if possible near a window, you can set up your meditation space just using a simple table and cushions, if you are in the habit of sitting on the floor to meditate. Simple and very pleasant. If you don't have any space at home to set up an altar, or you can't invest, no problem. You can take a very beautiful tray and place on it the images and elements that you like to have close at the time of your prayers. What's in the heart matters more than the physical form you use to represent your faith. Take advantage of that sideboard furniture you already have at home and make a special decoration to transform into your prayer corner. Decorate your altar with all the images you already have at home, making a true sanctuary. The home altar is the most relaxing corner of the house as it helps people to forget about all their worries and problems. Home altars usually are adorned a small vase of flowers. In many Christian households, individual family members, or the family as a whole, may gather to pray at the home altar. Christian hymns may also be sung there. Family altars are also used to promote the development or intensification of personal piety and godly conduct. It is common for Western Christians to have a pre-due in front of their home altar, which provides believers a space to place their Bible and breviary while kneeling before God in prayer. As with certain traditions of Oriental Christianity, some Western Orthodox Christians make use of the prayer rug to provide a clean space for offering Christian prayers to God. When you are planning Catholic home altars in your flat or home, do not forget to create a focal point. Wood, plywood, stone, and glass are the most common materials used to make a Christian altar. Since a altar is a sacred space, it should be designed keeping in mind the ease of cleaning and maintenance. In the Catholic culture, faith is passed on from generation to generation. Prayer books, rosaries, altar linen, bracelets, holy medals, crucifixes that belong to our grandmothers or uncles, cousins can be inherited. These items give a special meaning to the home altar and remind us in a special way that we should work intentionally to keep our family traditions alive. The simplest way to have a basic home altar is to identify a common spot where you can place your dirty images or statues. Make your prayer room look welcoming and inviting so you can revel in moments of solitude and reflection. 
I hope you liked the different types of altar designs shown in this video. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching my video. Take care bye bye.